Scared Spliff Podcast. Hey everybody, this is Cecil Queef telling y'all to check out YouTube channel Phobophobia Productions. They got movies, short filmers, webisodes, videos, all for fee, horror, comedy, they scratch your itch, spelled with a PH, that's YouTube channel Phobophobia Productions. Check it. Some fucking guy in a pickup truck pulls over on the side and he's like, do you guys need a ride? I was kind of reluctant. I was like, you know, maybe this is nice. Maybe like this is okay. Like we're tired. Like it's like, just straight ahead. You know, he's going that way, either way. And then my little brother's like, you're fucking stupid. Like what the fuck? So he's like, let's just keep walking. And then I was like, okay, whatever. So we just kept walking and he drove away. And then like, I guess like he turned or something and he appeared again, like a couple of blocks down, asking the same fucking thing. Do you guys want to get in the car? Come on, you guys want to get in? <laughs> and it was weird because like it like it reminded me of a black kid, of a, like what a black eyed kid would do, but if he was driving a car, because the black eyed kids are trying to get into you, not into you like as in like your body, but like they're trying to get into like your home, your car, wherever. But this person was trying to get me and my little brother into but his then, car. But then, what what happens then when the black eyed kid gets? It's in. Like, what's their ultimate goal? Whoa. Once they enter your home, you let them enter your home, and it's all over. Well, they find that yeah. way. No, but yeah. how is it all over? Well, Did they, they just shoot the you with a gun? Said, the cases have said, cases have said that, like, some of these individuals, like, they go crazy, or they kill themselves, or they go missing and shit, so, like, it's, it's really, it's whatever, but, like, the whole case of, like, a person trying to pick me and my little brother up in the middle of the Smells night. Like one been swimming, yeah, it's, it was weird, you know, but like we just ignored it. And after like three, it happened three different times that same night with the same guy. Yeah. And after us being just like, get the fuck away. The same guy? Yeah, like it just Dude. didn't happen anymore. Yeah. yeah. That's totally why I was That's reluctant crazy. yesterday with the offer of that little bag of Fritos because there's still a part of me. It's like no, stra- don't accept strangers. Strange. Like it's still, like, yeah, yeah. yeah it kind they of teach is, you that when you're a kid. Like it's yeah. sort so of the, that. Like that's there's always that vestigial kind of a yeah. thing. So also, point. I think I've already told you guys about ten years ago. I was at Samo Highland waiting for the next transit line, and then like, the, have I told you this already? I don't know. This is a first. I thought I okay okay. Oh, okay. Well, so it's ten years ago. Yeah. 11 years ago, like my first year in Los Angeles, and I'm waiting at the Samo Highland pickup point. And then, and it's at, it's at donut time. Uh, uh, it's, it's, a, it's just a magical fucking, so it's like, so it's 3 a.m. And then there's this dude with like long Tommy Wiseau hair. And he's like, I'm not good at guessing like nationalities. Nice. Like I think he was like Philippines like that. And he's like, and he's like chatting me up and he's like, I can give you, it's offensive for me to attempt the accent because I don't even know how to do it correctly. But he's like, yeah, I can give you a ride. And I'm like, oh no, and I'm being all go for shaw. And like, I'm just being all toy. But I just knew just like, uh, just like, pull back and just cast it on. But I knew, I was like, I just knew, just like I knew yesterday that I wasn't going to accept the vape offer, that I was like, no, I, no, I'm not accepting this ride. And then, and then later he's in, he's, he gets, he gets in his car that was in that parking lot there. And then he pull and then he pulls up and he's like 15 feet away and he goes, Brandon, come into the car. <laughs> no, nope. that's very not. <laughs> Good night. So, <laughs> that, was, that was it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so the, the question so was. So he knew of you, or he knew you. He just. I was there <laughs> waiting at that bench <laughs> and okay, he, for the transit ride. Okay, and he was supposed to see that. Face nasty. No, no, it was a strange, really nasty. Oh, it totally was a stranger danger. But I still, even I 11 years ago, I was still like an adult, so I didn't feel. Mm. I, I just was like, like I'm gonna say. Uh, he says it's uh, throwing up. I already like know up, my yeah, answer is no. Yeah. And mean, there's no like margin like really for negotiation. Like and uh, and it was like I don't know exactly the geography, yeah. but I don't know if it's WeHo or near WeHo. But it's like it kind of was like a felt like a situation where it was like a sort of like a hey, church, like a picking up. So uh, it's kind of like that kind of, I don't know. I don't know if I'm misinterpreting it, but it seems like, I don't know why. I don't know. I don't know why someone, I don't know why a human being would do another human being a favor out of benevolence. I I don't know what world that happens in. But so I, Just this one. (laughs) As far as we know. All right, so the question was, if you would see a hitchhiker, would you pick him up?
Um, I have not had the honor of meeting many hitchhikers along my travels. Well, can I say something? It seems like our stories have been turning into us being the hitchhiker. Well, that's you true. Know? Yeah. So, I yeah. mean, like, maybe we should go in. I'm thinking we should go in that direction. Like, well, what would I you do gonna, if you were approached by... Or no? Like, I if you are a hitchhiker? I was ironically yeah, going yeah. to say that I was not as smart as you one time. And I did take a ride from some strangers. Oh, wow. And it, it was, like, just because... I knew the area, and I knew that our place was so close, so I was just like, fuck it, you know, just like you were like, you know, like, why wouldn't I, because yeah. my parents aren't here or whatever, <coughs> and I need to ride home, they left me here and didn't tell me, you know, oh, we're going to come back in a minute, like, stay here, or whatever, you know, like, because they were that good at being parents themselves, so I instinctively just found some people to give me a ride home and when I saw my parents car and stuff going by I was like hey that's that's my that's my parents and shit and like they stopped and let me out and thank god they weren't you know malicious people Right. Like wow. Imagine if they would have been like, oh, I was really nice. young too. I was like six or some <laughs> that's shit. Nice. Like, I was oh, like, nice. wow. yeah, yeah, oh yeah I was like young ass. Then you must have lived in a really nice neighborhood. Uh, well, actually, <laughs> I was in Puerto Rico at the time. Oh, oh. Yeah. Puerto Rico. <laughs> then, yeah. th then that neighborhood, everybody must have known each other. Then. Um, like literally. Well, it was Rincon, so I wouldn't know anymore how it is, I guess, but back then it did feel very much like that, at least, especially with, like, the people that me and my family knew, at least. Mm -hmm. Like, we knew, like, the people who owned the, like, yeah. apartment complex that we rented our apartment from. Oh, well, see, then, like then you were... So, like, we were among good people as far as that's concerned. Or the people just But knew I had who no idea were. who these people were that I got in the car on and shit no, like that. Usually, people usually like people like to like say who people are and shit like that, even if you don't know them per se. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. that's why. Or, or I don't know, maybe you just got lucky, dude. I, I really did. Yeah. Point <laughs> really, really, really blank. That's got all I lucky. can say for myself is I definitely got lucky. Yeah, you know. You Whether can... it's, it is a thing or not. Because I'm special, special. You know what? I actually special. had a friend last year, <laughs> August, picked up or took a hitch hiker. What? And this kid, okay, he was he was up in the Shasta area. This was August of last year. A kid approached him and says, you know what, my phone is dead. My girlfriend dumped me. My ride, I don't have a ride home. Oh, you know, geez. can I borrow your phone? So, he, you know, he let him, lent him his cell phone. And he says, you know what, uh, I can't, you know, I, I don't have a ride. Can you take me, you know, down, you know, a couple exits down over to whatever, um, through uh, fast food, I think it was a jack in the box or something like that. Yeah. And uh, my friend said, "Okay, I'll do that. I'll help out this guy." But it was going in the opposite direction that he was going. And I'm kind of thinking, "You're a dummy. Yeah. What are you doing yeah. that for?" Yeah. Exactly. Like, so. Oh, uh, you codependent cutie. Like 14, <laughs> yes. The kid was like 14, 15, whatever. Oh. Um, and um, that's and, scary. And so um, he took him down there, and they couldn't find that fast food chain. What it was it? McDonald's or you know whatever it was, it wasn't there. And the guy goes, you know, I, and then my friend says, "Do you know where this is?" He says, "Oh, you know, it's not, it's not here. Can I borrow your phone again? See if I can call us. See if my mom will come and get me." <laughs> so he calls, and apparently the conversation was going, and she wanted to have him uh, have my friend take him home, <laughs> and 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 then. Uh, uh, so he said, no, I don't think I'm going to do that. I could take you someplace else, mm -hmm. you know. Or to police station. Or yeah, yeah. Like that. Seriously. And they said that you can go from Duh. there. This is uh, like an in-person scam email. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's happening. It's like the inverse is happening yeah. now. Now it's like kids. Starring John Cusack. And so what he did was, he, you know, he said he was the last one because it's really taken him out of the way because he was traveling up to Washington. Yeah. He says, I'll take you to such and such, you know, like maybe, you know, the, what, another another fast food, Kentucky, where he knew, mm -hmm. Kentucky Fried Chicken, so where he knew it was, mm -hmm. there was on one of the exits. And he says, you know, from there, you know, give a call and have them come and pick you up. Mm -hmm. And he says, I have to be on my way. But it was really weird because if he didn't have his brains, he would have taken this kid. Who knows what yeah. happened? Mm -hmm. You yeah. know? Oh, he got in a tub with ice. Waiting for him. 
Yeah. And a scar. Exactly. Yeah. And he's on the phone. Hey, I it's gotta get him closer to the house. Yeah. You know? Yes. Right. Can you yeah. imagine? Yeah. Yeah. But she lived on that area too. Yeah. yeah. Up in Shasta. That's wild. That's yeah, and it was one of those cold up there in summertime. It can get cold too at yeah. nighttime. Yeah. Wow. That's yeah. tricky. <clears throat> Holy shit. Wow. It's just not. It, yeah. It just yeah. never sounds like a risk that's worth taking, right. even though unfortunately, okay. someone who is and he's, on the up and up might. Might need, need help, the help, but right. you don't fucking know Sounds what like kind of so chainsaw good. murder scam exactly. they got going. <laughs> Black market that, kidneys. That was true. That happened fuck. last year. Wow. I said, it's What's Chinatown. What's wrong with you? Why didn't <laughs> bring him? You know, take him in the first place. It's so I heard this. Wait, Jose, did you say starring John Cusack because of the broke up with the girlfriend part? Or oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah, oh no, no, no I'm so but sorry. But you, you were gonna, you were gonna ask Carlene. Yeah. Well, I was yeah. curious as to how the friend got out of that situation. Like, okay, it's, well, he decided because they, they were taking too long. Because he would, he, I'm gonna say, uh, when they, because uh, he wanted to use the phone again to see if the mom would come and pick him up. Because he was saying that you know, mom, I, I want to call up my mom, or you know, so I'm gonna come pick me up, and they wouldn't do that. So it was like it seems like he's trying to get him to take him home. Mm-hmm. You know. Yeah, so he just like dropped him, so, just like yeah, him somewhere finally. Dra- dra- to eat him. dropped him <laughs> off at whatever fast food it was. So yeah. that was lit. Yeah. At an exit, not some place that was dark. Yeah. I think there was like two locations, and it was like it was no go at those locations. Also, oh, all this all happened at night. This was happening at oh, night. Oh, see, fuck that. Oh, yes, fuck yeah. 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 that. I would not that pick up a fucking fourteen-year-old yeah. at yeah. night. I thought it was during the day. Drive the opposite <laughs> direction yeah. and say, like, "Take me home." Like, yeah, get the fuck out of my car. Right. And, 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 yeah. and the kid <laughs> actually Literally. approached him, you know, because yeah. You know, and like, okay, when they yeah. excuse, oh, my girlfriend left me. I'd be the like, sob story. I mean, yeah. yeah, get the fuck out of my. Like, I'd probably just like <laughs> take him to like yeah, the nearest rest stop or whatever, mm-hmm. just, like, drop his ass off and be like, like mm-hmm. good luck like yeah, 14, yeah. yeah. I need to get safe deposit box and you <laughs> take <laughs> and I split with you a picture of daughter. You go, yeah, but yeah. this is a real story, so oh, it's man, like that's sick. well, it, it well, happened. That happened. It happened, but but everything. Three the reality that it was being presented verbally by the hitchhiker to your friend uh-huh. is uh-huh. like all just, just kind of up in the air. We don't people. know what the, and it was oh, out you know, in the yeah. like, yeah. like what you told me happened. Two hammers, but that two guys one hammer. Passenger could just be a lying. Exactly, exactly. That happened in the middle of nowhere. And I think my friend was a little bit on the naive side because he believed him. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's sick. Yeah. He said he would split half the money with me, dude. How could I pass that up? So we drove up to Wisconsin, and so the, then that like, was, the burger joint wasn't there. That was episode three, straight. So now episode <laughs> <one>. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, yeah, yeah, because that's the topic of the ICC. So now, now we're going to go into episode four, the infamous. <laughs> oh, my God. All right, so I guess the question would be, what would you do if you are drinking with your friend and... When you're supposed to be shooting a, an episode of a, <laughs> of a horror series. I guess, what would you do if, you, if you're... Specifico. Yeah, I guess. The, I guess the question is, what would you do if you're drinking with somebody, you're hanging out, and some stranger comes up to you asking for help? Okay. It, is this the hitchhiker? It feel like that's the thing. Is like oh, the hitchhiker. My first reaction, maybe I'm being a, a dick knob, but okay, like, okay. I guess to me it feels to, like the hitchhiker well, kind of thing. I guess I really don't care to give out some information about this episode because it's not my least favorite. So I guess what would you do if you're hanging out with a friend, somebody approaches you to ask for help? Because somebody's after them. I don't... Well, my first thought is I don't know whether to believe them at all. At all. Especially in Los Angeles. In, mm-hmm. in Sketchyville. Holly weird. Uh, and this person is a frantic, right? Yes, frantic. Yes. And just seems like... Hysteric. Yeah, hysterically hysterics. frantic. Blonde. You know, it's sexy. <laughs> <laughs> Half nude. Wearing, yeah, pretty much. Jeez. Wearing drapes and shit. Yes. <laughs> Wait, sort of, sort of like. Uh, all the asses. <laughs> so we're we talking prom night look, like uh, Jamie Lee Curtis slasher look. Anything you want. She could have big titties and no, they're wearing nothing. I don't <laughs> care, dude. But I'm yeah, just saying, like, what would you do if somebody went up to you and your homeboy, and was like, "I need help. Someone's after me. Please help." 
Hey everybody, this is Cecil Queef telling y'all to check out YouTube channel Phobophobia Productions. They got movies, short films, webisodes, videos, all for fee, horror, comedy, they scratch your itch, spelled with a PH, that's YouTube channel Phobophobia Productions. Sucking on a dick. I'll call the cops, but you better keep going. That's, that's, yeah, that's it. That's, that's what, what, yeah, that's right. We'll be right back. Like, I'm not going to get my ass stabbed for a stranger. Like, yeah. I'll, I'll call the cops for you, but yeah, yeah. I'm not going to put myself out. No, yeah, definitely. Definitely. Oh, I, I think there's some people that actually, like, even if it's not a hot girl or a hot guy, they wouldn't really, like, you know, like, they if would actually, the like, put them, their life on their life, you know? <laughs> I don't know, like, they, would, they want to play, you know, like, they want to play fucking hero, you know? And, that, and some people might want to play hero, some other people might just, like, literally believe it's the right thing to do. You yeah. know, I don't know. I mean, I can tell a story about when I was living in Vegas and my friend was working at this gas station and I was visiting him at work and uh, while I was there I was outside having a cigarette and this guy with like a bunch of luggage and stuff like kind of just comes up to me and he's got like a newspaper out and shit like that and like he's looking through it and stuff he's like hey man I'm just trying to like find a, a taxi or some service or something like that that I could call and I found this newspaper with a bunch of different like services like that in it and shit and I was wondering if I could borrow your phone to like use to call up some of these taxi services or whatever. And I was like already just like no not no, because it's Vegas. You know, like absolutely not. But that be a be a good person and you know try and be a good Samaritan kind of vibe like just sort of like washed over me about it. I felt really bad for him just because it looked like he was just trying to you know yeah. be on his fucking way and I was like hey man if it'll help you get the fuck out of my face then yeah sure whatever fuck it you know so <laughs> I was just like yeah whatever fuck it like I let him use the fucking phone I'll stand right next to him if he tries to fucking book it he's got all his shit right here you know. I'll fucking throw it at him. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> He's not going to get far. You know? Yeah. And then out of nowhere, this other guy comes storming up. Shit. And he goes, what's going on, man? Nice to see you. And, like, I'm the kind of guy that approaches my friends like that sometimes. Like, a little aggressively, I guess, <laughs> is a good way to put it. So I was just like, oh, maybe they're friends. And this guy's just, you know, being a wise-ass palling around like, I want to come up and hurt you, but I'm not going to hurt you kind of thing. Like, my better judgment was just not working this night, I guess. So I was, like, kind of like, oh, hey, who's that? Is that your friend or whatever? And, like, he was, like, down across this fucking parking line. By the time, like, question came out of my mouth, he was already, like, upon us. And, like, I had enough time to literally duck between the two of them and grab my skateboard and, like, kind of do this weird-ass, I guess, like, hedgehoggy sort of groundhog ninja move where yes. I just sort of used the bushes to my advantage and got around them right before he punched the guy in the face. You're gleaming the cube, man. Just went... Boom! Like, right the, the, as I was going underneath. The aggressive them, person. I was just like, I gotta go. The, like, I just, <laughs> again, I had my phone in my hand. I wasn't worried about anything else. I just went right into the fucking, uh, the gas station there where my friend was working. And I was just like, we got a little bit of an altercation going on outside. There are two people scrapping and. <laughs> the, the aggressive person punched the phone borrower. Yes. Okay, yeah. Wow. And, yeah. <laughs> but apparently he, he wasn't something... coming to you for help other than the, to use their phone. Yes. Okay. Dude, that's but true. they had a bunch of luggage, and from what I gathered of what they told me, they... Lover spat. Something like that. Yeah. Yeah, apparently the lover spat. Reginald, you bitch! Apparently the lover spat was dad. actually a, a triangle of sorts, and that guy was involved with it too, apparently. That is crazy. No, but I mean, Vegas is a fucking trippy ass place. Oh, yeah. Right away when you said Vegas, I was like, here it comes. Yeah, here comes some sketchiness. Oh, man. <laughs> I the was best, living there, but fuck's sake. Dude, wow. The best Vegas story I, I had, like, I recently just went there to play on Las Vegas Death Fest. Nice. And uh, we were there for the weekend. And some, I'm walking around Vegas with my fucking, with my friend Bowden, which is playing guitar. For us for the tour and he's 17 years old mm -hmm. so this fucker can't do anything and she could just like wander around she's like oh dude dude my dude whoa dude just a dude like uh, Bowden, <laughs> like Bowden I love you but um fucking <laughs> so like we're, we're walking back to our hotel 
and some guy fucking walks up to us and he's like, yo, man, you got a gun? And he tells, he's asking what both. The shit? He's asking a 17 year old from Northern California, like, hey, man, you got a gun? And then Bono's like, wait, what? Whoa, why? Dude's like, come on, dude, you have a gun? Please kill me, shoot me. Oh my God. He's like, come on, kill me, shoot me. He's like, Holy extending shit. his arms out. He's like, come on. He's like on something and she's like begging my fucking 17 year old guitar oh player to wow. fucking kill him. And yeah, he's like, looking. It's and like, you're the guardian for now. Yeah, right? and I'm just like, dude, oh, what the fuck? Yeah. What? And my, and my friend, like, oh. Bonin's just like, dude, like, what? <laughs> <laughs> and that was like, I think that was his first time in Vegas. I was like, dude, fuck. Like, oh, nice. What a way. Nice yeah. intro. Yeah, dude. Oh, so, oh. Like, Bonin, I love you. That just makes me think of, on you at like, 10 years ago at Universal City Walk, a buddy of mine was there and overheard someone say to someone else, Man, I didn't even bring my gun. And he was like, no, I'm, I'm out. I'm going. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <dude. laughs> yeah. Should, should we mention episodes that are not uploaded yet or like topics of episodes well, we, that are Well, we not... certainly could ask questions that are inspired by oh, episodes in that are not yet. Oh, okay. Christmas. I mean, it's okay. not like these are like getting immediately posted up or anything. Yeah. If a, if a, not if, immediately. If you're getting a, a cab ride or an Uber ride... And the driver is just not driving. They're fumble fucking around. They're making small talk. What do you? What do you do? What do you do? Get you out don't of. Use those services mm. to begin with. Oh, well, okay. okay. So, yeah. I mean, well, typically, what's your what's your guys's? Because that's a good one. But I think I got a bit, I got a better way of putting it. Is the car in motion already? A way that spoils happening? that. No, that does no, not spoil the no. episode. Yeah. Okay. What's your guys's worst Uber or Lyft story? <laughs> um. It, well, it's someone else's because I've never done it. Okay. And it's from another podcast. But uh, uh, Dan Harmon's story is... And I'm curious if this has happened to anybody or maybe someone you guys know. Dan Harmon uh, said that he was getting an Uber ride and <laughs> and a... And the driver yeah, said, make sure that the you, you, and, uh, and again, it's offensive, I'm doing space. an accent, but apparently so that's, I, mean, I don't know, I'm just saying close. the story how I yeah. heard it. Okay. okay. But no, the, no, uh, no. but the driver said, you give me My your phone, I put in code, you get 10% discount. And he was like, no, I, I'm not giving you my phone. It's, it's my phone. I heard it. No, but I give it 10%, you give it. And like, and, and, and Dan Harmon was like, no, I, I will give you $10 to stop asking for my personal property. <laughs> and like that, and, and so, wait, wait, so I was just telling a story was my point or, yeah, yeah, that's all, yeah, yeah. So someone else's story for another podcast, that's how desperate I am is we're just kind of telling other I got, podcasts I, I on take this podcast. I, I personally take Lyft because I don't like being around people who have social anxiety it's so like I, I don't take the rail the trains anymore and shit because the noise makes me feel uncomfortable and like I don't know people are fucking weird and they smell really nasty so <laughs> I just don't like dealing with that yeah, yeah, yeah. so when I used to go to work uh, sometimes if I had money like I would ask Gabby you know like if it would be okay for me to take a lift not because of her fucking you know like permission or anything <laughs> you know but you know just like obviously you know like I want my partner to know what the fuck I'm doing so, like, I, sometimes it would be okay. So, I'll, most of the times it would be cool. You know, some Lyft drivers would stay it to themselves and not say anything. But then there's that you sh that, that Lyft driver that has to fucking tuck his e your ear out <laughs> and ask you all of these fucking questions. Like, so how you been, man? How's your day? How you been? <laughs> like, to a stranger? Yeah, he's just like, dude, like, I could smell what the fuck you ate. Close your fucking mouth. I don't want to <laughs> talk to you or anything, you know? So, like, that's my bad, like, Lyft story. Like, hey! Get the fuck away from me. You, where did they grow you? What yeah, fucking yeah, rock sure. did you sure cut? Go take a shower, you piece of shit. Oh, yeah. I think it's fine. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's not really like any bad lift story or anything. Cause, I mean, they're all been nice, but just, I had this one lift guy that he was just talking in his breath thing. This sounds like he wasn't looking at the road. Was he looking he behind you? He was sitting right next and, to him. No, I was sitting in the back. Oh. Yeah. Wow. And, and like, he's doing... He had the air conditioning on. And he's doing like the beginning of Dumb and Was Dumber where he's thing? looking oh, yeah, not at the road yeah. and talking to you in the Both. back and breathing his breath on you. Oh, it's because he smelled. <laughs> yeah, cause I can he smell his that, breath uh, because of the air conditioning. So oh, so, so, so ricochet. Yeah. You know you could have asked oh, him to take it off and put down the window. But you see, that's the thing. Like When I get into a Lyft or an Uber, I don't want to talk to the driver because I don't know. 
I get it. You, you know, just, I, just I, want to get your ride and take. The yeah, thing. like That's the reason it. why I take that is because I want to make sure that I get home. And that I'm not around people, and that I'm not worried about somebody trying to stare at me or somebody trying to like, you know, just like the whole social anxiety type of shit. Right. Mm-hmm. You Have know? you stopped taking Lyft afterwards, or you no, still I, keep on taking it? I yeah. still take, I still take it. See, I've never you know? taken Lyft or Uber. It's always been a regular taxi because I just feel a little bit safer with a professional driver. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because I know I've heard of people who say, oh yeah, like oh yeah, my son, you know, he just turned like 19 and he's got to pay for his insurance, so he's gonna do driving for Uber, you know, yeah. and so, and I'm hearing about some of these young Uber drivers, and just, they're young, it's not that they don't know how to drive, it's just they don't they're have not experienced, experienced drivers, yeah. and they're getting uh, into accidents because they I just like hearing their experience. stories, they all got different stories. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's annoying Student it could Uber be, driver. there's some cool ones. But I don't have the problem with, you know, what um, Oscar was talking about, where you're, you Driver is asking a whole lot of questions. Maybe a few. And they're bad breath ricochets. No, no, no bad breath. I actually had one that I thought was a serial killer. What? I actually had one that thought was a serial killer, but I was high at the time, so that maybe heightened the the insecurity a little bit. But it was just weird. Wait, wait, wait. It was, it was, it was, it was a a lift, actually. I'm sorry, it was Uber. You're totally different. Hyperbolically, that he seemed like a serial serial killer, or he fucking was one. Did he say, you know I'm a serial killer, Jose? No. Okay. <laughs> but that would have been cool if he did. I, I would have the, the green light. You know, it's lit. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Yeah. What's next? But no, it was more What's like next? leery. Kind of like, I got to fucking guess. Russian roulette style. Kind of like. <laughs> it wasn't, you know, it wasn't so much that he was super weird or anything. It was just his delivery. It's yeah. kind of creepy. Yeah. Well, because he asked me, uh, hey, man, uh, you, have a, you have a girlfriend? I was like, no. <laughs> why? Uh, are you married? I'm like, no. He's like, why? What's up? He's like, no. Nah, I, I just want to know. He was talking to me in Spanish. He was like, oh, yo, yo solo quiero saber dónde pueda encontrar mujer. Uh, basically, you understand what I yeah, said. Yeah, but to yeah, those like, who don't understand, it's like, just where can know I find women? We're gonna find women. I'm like, oh, uh-huh. you know, uh, Tinder. <laughs> yeah. I was like, <laughs> yeah. It's like, what's that? And I was trying to explain to him what Tinder who was. Who is serving who, sir? <laughs> Yeah, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Give me a ride. That's exactly, exactly. And I was pissed off that I didn't get a tip. Oh. <laughs> you know no. what? That, that brings it to, I did have an experience. Go ahead. I just thought after the whole conversation of him trying to ask me where else he could go, I even suggested strip bars. But fuck it. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, well, yeah. Like Craigslist <laughs> girls. Yeah, yeah. But I felt that after I was dropped out, he gave me this weird goodbye. And I thought that he went around. As a matter of fact, I actually asked me, asked him, to drop me off a block before I, we got to my house. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's how freaked out I was. Mm-hmm. Uh, yes, I had that experience before where I've actually asked the taxi driver to do that. It do- not drop me at my home, but someplace else, like a block away. Yeah, I, because I was getting creeped out. I walked wait, around wait. three times around the block just to make sure. Oh really? <laughs> oh, <laughs> guys. I got. OCD and shit. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah. They were asking, Safety, dude. Asking yeah, personal questions. Yeah. You know, you yeah. know, see what, what your status is. Especially you know, specific ones, at yeah. least. Like, mm-hmm. there's some questions that, like, they aren't too intrusive, at least. Like, oh, you know, how how was your day been and shit like that, you know? Yeah. Like, you know, how... Well, how are things I, I, going home? I have shit, a you know, like just small talk okay, bullshit. You know, you know? Yeah. Going on so the sky oh, sure yeah. is up there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that stuff I hate so much. Just out of anyone. Did any, like, ugh. any of you uh, ever had the experience of meeting a driver who turned out to be sleazy, but charming in the sense that he was sleazy, he knew it? <laughs> no. I've never that sounds cool. Like, that, like no. you could pull that off. You're like self-aware. That. Oh, you have friends like that. Like that? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was about to have the same answer Oscar did. <laughs> I know some friends of mine that I could label as that, but what's besides the point? I had a fine gentleman of the uh, the Middle Eastern Orient told me about a story how uh, he would meet women and somehow that they were vulnerable, they would sleep with them. It was a weird whole system he had going. Oh. Or else <laughs> he making this up in his head. Well, either that could be it, I guess. Why impress me with a fucking eye? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> shit, I'm not impressed with myself. No, dude, there's like a lot of fucking, there's a lot of weird shit out there, dude. Like, you'd be surprised. Hey, everybody, this is Cecil Queef telling y'all to check out YouTube channel Phobophobia Productions. They got movies, short filmers, webisodes, videos, all for fee, horror, comedy, they scratch your itch, spelled with a P-H. That's YouTube channel Phobophobia Productions. Check it.